Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to bind dynamically data from database into checkbox list control. And here we got the final output. And notice the city name column is binded to this checkbox list control. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new project. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I am choosing ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework 4.6.1. I am using the application name is Bind Checkbox List. Click OK. And from the templates, I am choosing Empty. OK. And here the project is successfully created. Open Solution Explorer. I am adding one web form page to this project. Right click the project name. Add. New item. Web form. The web form name is. Checkbox list. Data. Add. And here we got the source page of the newly created checkbox list data page. Now I am adding the checkbox list control between these form tags. Open toolbox, checkbox list control. Now what I am doing, I am adding a center tag. Copy this, this here. data from database into checkbox list hard center line that's it we have done the designing part now the next step is I'm adding the connection string property in the web.config file to get the SQL server connection string open server explorer right click the data connections add connection I'm adding the SQL server name. After adding server name, I'm selecting the database name. Sample DB is my user database. I'm selecting that one. Test connection. It succeeded. OK. OK. And here the sample db.dbo connection string is added under data connections. We need the data source of this sample db. Right click that one. Go to properties. In the properties, the third option is a connection string, which is a data source. Copy the whole part. Open Solution Explorer and open web.config file. Now, in the configuration, I'm adding connection string. Add name. I'm giving my connection string name. My connection connection string I'm adding the data source here and the last property is a provider name which is a system dot data dot SQL client that's it we have added the connection string now switch to the design part I right click the mouse go to view code now in this code behind, I'm adding the namespaces of SQL Server using system dot data using system dot data dot SQL client using system dot configuration. After adding the namespaces, now in the page dot event string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I am adding my connection string name which is my connection this here dot connection SQL connection I am creating an object for the SQL connection class new SQL connection 
which takes a parameter of this main connection object. String SQL query is equals to now in this SQL query I am writing the select statement. Before writing the select statement, first we'll check the table and the column name to bind the data into a checkbox list control. For this demo purpose, I'm using the city table which contains three columns: city ID, city name, and SID, which is a state ID. But I want to bind the city name column to the checkbox list control. Let's switch back to the coding part. Select start from the table name is this one dbo.city table. Copy this one. Yes, here. SQL command. SQL com is equals to new SQL command, which takes two parameters. One is the SQL query. The second parameter is the SQL connection object, which is a, this one SQL com. Let's open the connection string SQL con dot open method SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter which takes a parameter of the SQL command object data table DT is equals to new data table SDA dot fill method I'm filling the data with data table object now I'm binding the data into checkbox list control checkbox list one dot data text field is equals to the text field is a city name checkbox list dot data value field is equals to in this value field, I'm adding the ID column, which is a city ID. Checkbox list one dot data source is equals to DT. And the last one is a checkbox list dot data bind method. The final one, let's close the connection string with the close method. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. Now it's time to check the results on the browser. Google Chrome. And here we got the final output. And notice the city name column is binded to this checkbox list control. That's it.